As your career evolves, I mean, because now you're, you're on MSNBC, a very successful show on that. Have you gotten, you've gotten some criticism over that. Do you believe that you've sold out? Sold out to who? You know, one of the things that's interesting to me is, if you look at the last two years, I've been on uh, MSNBC for two years, the issues that have been out front, mm -hmm. Trayvon Martin, I help lead. Voter ID, I help lead. Dealing with the whole question of ending early voting, I help lead. Dealing with the question of, of the unemployment, I help lead. 50th anniversary march on Washington, I organized a model of the King III to help lead. So the people that are criticized has done nothing but criticize every major social national move in civil rights. We've helped to lead. So not only have we not sold out, I think that they're disappointed that we still have been able to stay on the forefront of civil rights and still do my talk show. When you go and you read the, the comments, when people read about your book, it's always the same thing. This guy is a racist and this guy is an opportunist. Are you a racist? Uh, if I were a racist, then why would I leave organizations that would put whites out? And why would I forgive a white guy that tried to stab me? I'm not, not only not a racist, there is no record anyone could point to that could say that makes him a racist. An opportunist, I just started making a decent living maybe three years ago. <laughs> if I was an opportunist, then what was I at four years old when I started preaching, or nine years old with Mahalia e. Jackson? I was a kid. I'm doing what I always did. And at nine, 10, 11, 13, you can't really figure out opportunism. You can only figure out this is what I'm compelled to do, and I'm doing at 58 what I was doing at eight.